Welcome into the Original Gangsters podcast. I am your host, Scott Bernstein. This is a quick hitter episode that I want to talk about breaking news out of Canada and the continuing drama that's going out, uh, on up there with the Rizzuto Mafia as well as the Hells Angels and uh, the dovetailing between those two organizations. Major Montreal Hells Angel shot caller Robert Teflon Rob Barletta had his mansion burned down last week. Uh, I think it uh, was in the neighborhood called St. Jerome and a suburb of, of Montreal. He has uh, been kind of a nomadic presence in Canadian Hells Angels politics over the last 20 years and was summoned to Montreal in the last handful of years uh, to ramp up, you know, the power base in, in Montreal with, with Marty Robert, uh, who, who's the president of the Montreal Hells Angels. And Barletta was brought there personally by Marty. Uh, investigators right now are thinking that this could have been an attack on Barletta uh, by the Rizzuto mob and continuing fallout from the, you know, this 2023 tit for tat. Uh, it started with the attempted assassination of uh, Rizzuto mob Don Leonardo Rizzuto, uh, reputed mob, mob Don uh, Leonardo Rizzuto, and continued uh, into the summer with the June uh, 5th assassination of uh, Francesco Chit Del Basso. And the, the, what, what informants are telling the RCMP right now is that initially Chit Del Basso was in a internal dispute within the Rizzutos with Leonardo, who was his former friend, ally. He had once been a bodyguard for Leonardo, he had worked for Vito Rizzuto, uh, Leonardo's dad, Chit had. Uh, who was the most powerful mafia down in Canada has ever seen, uh, was an, a collector and uh, bookie, loan shark. And in the last 10 years since Vito died, it appears that uh, Chit and, and Leonardo fell out more recently. There were some attempts on, on Del Basso's life in late 22, uh, maybe early 23. And then there was an attempt made uh, investigators believe it it came from Del Basso with backing from the Hells Angels to kill Leonardo Rizzuto. Um, now we're, I'm being told, I think investigators are being told that the Hells Angels are doing an about face, uh, wanting to maintain their longstanding ties to the Rizzuto mob going, you know, back to, to the Vito Rizzuto days uh, and that they might have killed Chit Del Basso as a way to make things right after backing his power play. Marty Robert was seen meeting with Chet Del Basso minutes before uh, Del Basso was gunned down in, in the parking lot of the Monster Gym in West Island in June 5th. Now, both Marty Robert and Teflon Rob Barletta were at Chet Del Basso's funeral, but both, from what I'm being told, are being investigated for possibly playing uh, a role, they're, 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 they're suspects, persons of interest in the Del Basso murder investigation. Uh, Rob Barletta, again, just to kind of give a little background on him, has only been in Montreal for a couple of years and started his career in Toronto as a Hells Angel, uh, was dispatched to London, Ontario to uh, take over, or I should say to uh, found, uh, he founded the Lon London Hells Angels chapter and became the president of the Lon uh, London Hells Angels chapter. And then he eventually went to Niagara, became the boss of the Niagara uh, Hells Angels, and then ended up uh, in Montreal. So, you know, kind of called by uh, Marty Robert and, and the powers that be in the Hells Angels to bring reinforcements for what was looked at as a possible war with the Rizzutos uh, within the bigger Canadian mafia war. 
And that's where we stand right now. Rob Barletta had his mansion burned down last week. I guess it was the third time that he has survived a uh, arson attack, uh, as, as well as a number of uh, attempts on his life. That's how he's gotten the nickname Teflon and uh, moved to Montreal from London. He got his, I think he got his strip club uh, liquor license revoked, uh, ran a strip club in London called uh, like Flesh Gordons, <laughs> like Flash Gordon, Flesh Gordons. Um, but now he's in Montreal. Uh, he's become somewhat of a right-hand man to Marty Robert. You know, there's a lot of this story left to be written, but the attack on... Barletta um, is major news, and we'll we'll keep updated, uh, keep you updated on it, and we'll see what happens uh, out in Montreal going forward. For OG Pod, I'm Scott Bernstein. Out. Mm-hmm.